Welcome back to Maple Motors, guys. This is Nick up here. We're gonna be going for a test drive in a 1964 Impala. This is gonna be an all-in-one video where it's a test drive and a walk around, so definitely uh, be watching for that about halfway through. 327 up under the hood. A little bit of an exhaust leak over here on this side. This is a four-speed car. Drum brakes all the way around. Decent looking paint job. But yes, we're gonna be test driving this car down the road, pointing out any kind of flaws that I can find. That way you know exactly what you're buying when you get here. If you don't mind, check out maplemotors.com. Close to 100 detailed pictures, financing information, and yes, we can ship these cars all over the nation. Last but not least, hit that subscribe button. I post cars every single day. You can also hit the notification bell to be alerted every time I do. It's that time. Let's go for a ride. I'm gonna check the interior out before I take off. Go ahead, place your bets. Do you think the horn works? A little game we can play from your couch. The dash is in good shape. Interior looks nice in this one. Like I said, four speed and a nice setup. The tax on the dash, it's showing 29,000 miles. It's hard for me to stand behind that just because of the year of the car. Checking out the interior. Pretty clean. We're gonna be going all over this about halfway through this test drive, so let's go ahead and turn her on here. Try the radio out. Radio's cutting on and working. See if the blower motor's blowing. Blower motor is out on this one. Wipers. Wipers are also out on this one. Horn, did y'all place the bets? It works. Tax coming up, looks like it's working. Our gas gauge is at three quarters of a tank. If it's moving around, gives me uh, a little bit of an idea that it's probably working. All right, let's hit the road. I'm getting ready to take off here. I'm looking around for my seatbelt. And stick it on, and do have seatbelts in this one. Let's see how she drives. This is the first time I've driven this car personally. The clutch is letting out about halfway on the floor. Anything that I see, I will point out. Speedometer is coming up. Gas gauge is floating around. Seems to be shifting smooth. Turn signal's popping up on the dash. The floor vents are pushing some air. From the outside, it feels good. We're going straight down the road. It's not pulling to the left or right. I mean, just a small amount of slack. It turns there and it turns there. Brakes feel pretty good. Motor's pulling strong too. It's a good driving car here. trying to sprinkle on us but, but it looks like the storm's all the way over there so I think we'll make this video happen without running into a bunch of rain
pull up in this parking lot here. We're going to do an outside video inspecting the outside of this car. I've got these uh, attachments that I'm going to use to drive by, set up some tripods, and try to make this video a little bit more exciting. Let's get these shots. Go ahead and test the brake here. It's working. Hopefully it come up. Hold up. Yeah. It's working and it's coming up. Good deal. I went ahead and opened the trunk and the hood. That way I'm not flipping the camera around. Got to check everything out on this car, point out any kind of flaws I can find. Uh, since we're already back here, we're going to do the trunk first. To check the edges. The weather stripping's gone on this trunk. It needs to be replaced. Big old dirty towel up in here holding something. Let's see. Oh, it's a jack. Some rust marks coming through on the jack. Let's see if there's anything up under here. Some moisture up under here that's going to need to be wiped up. Kind of destroy the trunk. Just want to get back and tell the cleanup guys to get the water out of here. It's on both sides. Under here. Let's see about this side. Yeah, this side too. Surface rust. I'm not seeing any uh, major holes or issues there. As long as you get the water out right now and try to fix the seal, which is probably this trunk seal since it's just deteriorated. The package tray is in good shape. It's not all eat up. Just mainly surface rust right there where the water's been sitting. Let's go ahead and shut this trunk down. And keys are in the ignition. There we go. It shuts down nice and easy. Looks to me as it lines up nice. We'll go ahead and start in the front here. 327 under the hood. This is a four speed car. I do repeat myself a lot right now doing these uh, mashup videos. Insulation up under the hood looks nice and clean. Somebody's replaced that through the years. Starting up here, the bumper has some age on it. You can see there's some pitting, some little rust spots. It is not in perfect shape. The grill seems to be pretty good. The tires are in great shape on this one. Some a set of Krager wheels. Chrome trim. It's got a few dings up here. It almost looks like they dinged it up trying to put it on. Mirrors have been replaced. The door handles have very little age on them as well. There's a spot right here in the quarter. Some light scratches up here. It's like they missed the keyhole. Bubble in the paint down here in front of the driver's rear tire. Some scratches where the gas cap is. Tail lights have signs of age on them. Dual exhaust out the back. Rear bumper's in pretty good shape. Not perfect, but in pretty good shape. Emblem looks a little old too. <clears throat> Same thing on the trim back here. It's like they used a rubber mallet or something to push it in. It's got a little dent here. You know, some small little dents over there. There's certain ways of putting that stuff on. And I do notice when they put them on a little bit 
harsher or rougher than others. Body work's been done right here. And here. That almost sounds like metal though. I think it is. Maybe it's just a dent. It's a dent and a dent and a line there. Overall, checks out. Looks pretty good. All right, we've walked all the way around this car. Make sure I hit this top side one more time. Let's go check the interior out. So I open the door. The door panel looks great in this one. It's in great shape. Weather stripping is missing. Need to put some weather stripping on that to keep it from leaking. Checking the underside of the door. The carpet looks awesome. I'm a guy that likes red interior for some reason. I don't know. I just like it. Some people are all against it, but I think it looks good. It's not as hot as black either. There's some imperfections on the headliner. It's got a little patch over there on the passenger side. Four speed in the floor. Nice looking setup. Steering wheel wrap. The dash looks good. A little wrinkly on this side, isn't it? Probably where they had it recovered. We'll start her up, go listen to her, and keep this test drive rolling. Starts up nice and easy. Brake light's only on from the emergency brake. We've already checked everything in the beginning. It's one thing I like about this uh, combined video. I only have to do things once. Ahead, shut the hood down here. I love the front end on this one. Looks nice. Hood itself's in great shape. It's lining up good. y'all up in here. 
way you can see everything. Do the first person test drive. All right. Hopefully that's straight enough for you. Try to get you on here right. Release the brake. We'll take off. I feel like y'all are crooked today for some reason. All right. We're good to go. Brakes again real good. Shift through the gears. Coming up on this road with our speed bump in it, kind of check for rattles and uh, give you an idea on the suspension. Coming up right here. Hardly even felt that one in this big old boat. There's a ramp for us. We're gonna get it. Wouldn't that be wild? Probably mess everything up. All right guys, we're pulling back into the lot here. I got one more vehicle I'm wanting to do today and then we're gonna call it. Thanks for riding with me.